So hello, my name is Chris Benjamin. I'm the author of Eco Innovators Sustainability in Atlantic Canada. One of my personal favorite chapters in the book is called uh, Choosing Sustainable Foods. And it's all about how we can reconnect to our food supply. We've become disconnected to the point where we depend on, on multinationals to provide our food uh, from all over the world. And we have no idea who produced it or how it was produced, where it came from even most of the time. Today we're talking about sustainable fish. And we're here at the old Halifax Farmer's Market to uh, meet with the fishermen and the consumers who are buying their fish. This was something I really wanted to be part of and learn more about and get the story behind and it was just such a great example of an Atlantic Canadians doing something really innovative um, to, to lead the way in providing uh, a sustainable fish harvest. Um, so I thought it was a great story for the book. Ordinarily, our fish is put on a truck and, and trucked to Boston, shipped to Boston from, from Digby, Nova Scotia, from, from, from the islands, from Briar Island, from Long Island. Everything goes on a truck and goes to Boston. It has a, has a large enough population center that our fish becomes a commodity immediately. It doesn't matter if it's caught with a hook or caught with a net. It doesn't matter if we caught it today and brought it in. It can still sit in someone's fish plant for up to 15 days before it's shipped. Um, Building a market in Halifax where we can sell the fish on our own, it sort of cuts out the middleman, but it's not really exactly what it's all about. What we're trying to do is create a different market for high quality, fresh fish that's been fairly caught. Um, Off the Hook is a community supported fisheries project which provides fresh, local, sustainably harvested fish to consumers and provides a fair price for the catch to the harvesters. It's, it's modeled off of the community supported agriculture sort of model. Uh, so in that, in that sort of model, you would pay up front at the beginning of a season to a farmer or a farm, um, and in return you get weekly shares of, of produce or, or whatever the farmer produces. So in our case, it's fish. People sign up at the beginning of the season. They choose how much fish they want to receive each week, uh, and then each week they, they show up to their, their designated pickup spot, and they pick up their, their weekly share of fish. Off the Hook was started by uh, a group of bottom longline fishermen from the Bay of Fundy. So uh, they target haddock and cod and hake. Those are those are their the, the fish that they um, that they catch. So these are sort of the small scale owner operated vessels. Uh, it, they're they're longliners, so so they don't drag anything over the ocean floor. There's no there's no trawler or net of, um, involved in this. They, they use a, a, a string of, of line with hooks um, attached to it every every uh, you know every meter or so. Um, so the, and the, the hooks are baited. So they'll go out and uh, lay a string of baited hooks along the ocean floor, then wait a while and hope the fish bite, and then uh, bring in the line and hope that there's fish on it. Two in a row! Woo! So they handle the fish one at a time as they come out of the water. They go into a big bin, and, and while they're at sea, they do what we call uh, dressing the fish. So they'll, they'll bleed the fish and gut it, and then they, they slush it down, which means they'll put it in a vat of uh, half water and half um, ice, and they'll salt that down even further to bring the temperature right down. So they treat the fish much differently than you'd, you'd see on sort of an industrial fishing vessel where the fish comes in and thousands of pounds of fish go into a hold and get crushed by other thousands of pounds of fish and ice. Uh, these fish are, are literally floated in a vat of, uh, of slush. So the quality of the fish, you know, not only is the, is the method that they're using much more benign in terms of the environment, but the, the quality of the fish because the way it's been handled is just a, it's a notably different. You can, you can tell just by looking at it uh, that, it's, that it's been uh, you know, handled sort of by hand um, in, a, in a much more gentle way. I've got some fish I caught in there from yesterday. There's a cod I got from yesterday. There's a hake, nice and stiff. The salt in the water sort of stiffens them right up, cools them off quickly. 
If you get them in there right away, you can't leave them on the deck for an hour, they go soft. That's a haddock. Stiffen them right out in the slush. Just, uh, just slushy water. So I came from Newfoundland, my family, and we come from a long line of fishermen, and it's, it's nice to be able to be part of something similar here. And it's something we like to instill in our children to keep going, hopefully for generations, to protect the, the stock of the fish. It's nice and fresh, so we know that it's caught the day before, and we know where, where we're getting it from. My children like to be part of it when we bring home the fish, and at home they follow where the boat's going online, and it's something we like to be able to instill in them, that they know where the fish is coming from and how it's being caught. So we, we have 200 subscribers sometimes. I, I don't know, we might be up to 300 by now. And I know a lot of them by name, they certainly all know me by name, and uh, the other two fishermen who uh, deliver fish to the co-op feel the same way. That We didn't really realize it, but we actually kind of like meeting people who eat our fish. We thought it, we weren't too keen on it in the beginning. We thought the, the, the people, the customer fisherman relationship wasn't really all that, all that attractive, but now it's, it's the favorite, it's our favorite part of what we do. It's selling our fish to customers who enjoy it. We've never had that luxury before. The, the key thing that fish harvesters get out of this is, is they, get, they are empowered to set their own price. So, so rather than taking whatever price the buyer gives them, they're, they're the ones who know what their expenses are and, and, and they're the ones who know what they need to make per pound to make a, to make a, a living. So if, if, uh, you know, if they're just uh, forced to take whatever price is given to them, uh, then half the time they're out there losing money. And, and like any other business, you can't go out and lose money every day and, and survive. So that's the key thing that Off the Hook does. It, 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 it flips it. It, it. it flips fish harvesters from being price takers to price setters. My, my jacket's still three or four years old. You know, I'm not driving a nice car. My boat's a real, a real uh, old, old bucket, but... It's enough to keep me on the water, and I'm doing a job I love, so I don't need a lot of money to do it. I just don't like to pay to work. It's fair wage, yes. More and more consumers are looking for a connection to the food that they eat. Um, and, you know, to some extent in the agricultural world, through farmers markets and things like that, people do have a connection to the, to the sort of terrestrial food system um, when they put the effort in to make that connection. But for some reason, in, in, for seafood, it's harder. It's harder to, to uh, establish a direct connection to you know, fishermen or fish harvesters and fishing communities. So Off the Hook does that. It, it builds a direct connection between consumers and the people who, who catch the fish. Mm -hmm.